So anyway, it is 8.47 on this Saturday morning. And I do believe that my brother-in-law, my sister, my niece and nephew, they are still asleep. A lot of times, uh, they won't get up till about 9.30, 10 or 10.30. But for me, I just don't want to rudely interrupt them while they're getting their rest. Because that would be so rude if I did that. But anyway, I'm just going to leave them alone and wait till about 10 or 1030 to get things going with the tail light and go over their house and grab my mail. Now, a lot of you guys may be saying, well, Jay Baker, why do you have your mail shipped over to their place? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you guys one thing. We have had two people roaming around the entire Stonehouse apartment property and so far I'm not saying one I'm saying two you heard me correctly there are two people that are scouring around like rats and pretty much you're going door to door stealing people's packages I am a victim of at least one of my packages getting stolen in the past and then my neighbor got robbed the other day. And I said to myself, I'm not having my packages shipped here. And then they go up missing after that. And then I have to file a dispute with Amazon. And so far, it's, it's a hassle. Because then they have to send you a replacement. For that package being stolen by somebody who has no right to even do that. People, a lot of times, when they have nothing better to do, they go around and do questionable things. They, they take things that don't belong to them. Their parents didn't whoop their butts when they were a little bit younger. More like... 11 or 12, but they let them get away with murder a lot of times. And so far, there are some parents out there that have bad parenting skills. You know, they don't teach discipline. They let the kids get away with murder, you know. You ought to give them three swats to the rear end when they disrespect the parents. But, you know. They grow up and be thieves and juveniles and all this other stuff. I mean, it's crazy. But anyway, they end up in jail one day because they steal. And just like Benny, oh, he stole everything I gave to him all these years. And then he flat up lied and manipulated about it. He's like, oh, I didn't take from you, bull. You can tell me that now. I still don't believe your lies. Because that's one thing I'm not doing. You know, I ain't believing a word you say to me. I still refuse to believe in you. And I still refuse you to this day, man. Trust me, 11 and a half years, I had to worry about what you're doing now. And the money that I gave to you out of my pocket, that was not yours. And, you know, it's not yours. And, you know, if I had a lawyer, I'd scare the crap out of you by saying I'm going to sue you. Or put a lien on your place and put a lien on other people's places, your whole family's place. I would do that, by the way. But I don't have a lawyer and I don't have the funds for a lawyer to go up against you and to sue you. You know, you're lucky. But I would say luck has nothing to do with it. But anyway...
And I really hope that people watch what you do. Because you do that to somebody else, they might have a guaranteed thing to sue you on. You know? But karma is catching up with you, dude. You just don't know that yet. You know? That, that's surely biting you in the butt. That's why you lost everything. It bit you so hard in the in the donkey. Yeah, you know, you should have listened to me, man. Okay, that light doesn't work anymore. Yeah, just going around room by room, checking everything. You know, making sure that things are good. But yeah. Uh, everything in this middle bedroom looks good. And yeah, this right here. This was my bedroom right here. Boy, I had my bed right here. My office. And this is where my TV was. Like right here. And yeah, I would a lot of times peep out through the window, see what's going on. It was pretty good way back then. Well, my dad would be highly appreciative of coming in and him seeing what I'm doing here. So he's still got three working light bulbs in this one. Pretty nice. Ooh, it is hot. But anyway, yeah, I probably don't even want to spend the night here, but if I make that decision, I'm probably going to really soon. Yeah, just to get out of the apartment for a while and just chill out, I guess. Wait for my brother-in-law and sister to get up and get the kids up, and that way I could go and get my things. Whew, feels like a real steamer in here. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I'll go ahead and check this bathroom. Make sure everything's good. Yeah, look at that. I got some working light bulbs. You know, I may take a couple of them working light bulbs and literally just use them in my apartment. I might do that. Just get up there and take at least a couple of them. Because one of ours burned out. You know, we only got three, but a lot of times I'm in charge with all the light bulbs. I keep my light bulbs in a little container. But anyway, yeah, so far uh, everything looks pretty good in here in the Springwood home. It's hot everywhere in this house. Boy, and I gotta say the loft area. Boy, I tell you what, I wish my dad would have allowed me to stay here if they weren't gonna be here. And wait for me to get out uh, whenever they were gonna sell the place, but Unfortunately, my dad wanted me out because I started the new job and stuff. It's a new job that I pretty much don't even like anymore. I mean, the way that people's attitudes these days, you know, look at my new co-workers. They are exchanging cuss words. They're doing a lot of things that just flat up irritate me. And 
No, I stay away from them. I don't want nothing to do with the people like that. But, yeah. Now there's, and that's what I was telling you guys about this uh, elderly guy. He was pretty much throwing a fit. And boy, I tell you what, this place is really starting to look disgusting. He was throwing a fit about the urinals. And, eh, you know, how elderly people overreact and stuff. They, they don't have any clue what they say. You know, and say it's him. I just don't pay him no never mind. Now, anyway, what time is it? Close to nine o'clock. Anyway, we'll go ahead and take a seat. And we'll wait for at least an hour till my brother-in-law and sister-in-law wake up from the good night rest. But yeah, uh, still a big mess here in the Springwood home. Still got a pretty good running fan right there. And over here near the window, that's basically still a lot of stuff in here. I think when I do go off to Brady again, I'm going to take some things over to dad and my stepmother. I mean, it's going to be a little while before I do go back over there. I, mean, I still got baseball season to deal with and what is left of it anyways. But anyway, boy, is this chair moving? I can feel it. This chair is moving a little bit. I feel like I'm going to fall out of it. <laughs> but you know, when people cause drama and all this other stuff, it's best just to walk away from their negativity and their crap and, you know. I tell myself all the time, I'm not there for them. I'm not there for anybody. I mean, I'm all in it for me. To build a future for me, a seeable one, in fact, on that one. But for me and Benny, I was going to build it for both of us. But that ship is sailed far away. It ain't happening. And, you know, I ain't going to talk about him anymore. I mean, there ain't no point. As our friendship was pointless anyway. He didn't help me whatsoever. I helped him for nine and a half years trying to get him up and going. And our whole friendship was a basic lie. It was a lie from the very start. 